I'm Christy, you're watching Tiny Turtle Tarot, and this is your reading for February 2024. As always, if anything I say resonates, or you feel it will resonate in the future, because obviously it's not happened yet, please let me know by liking and subscribing. Let's get on with your reading. What's happening for you beautiful Leos this month? Okay, King of Wands, straight away, very Leo energy. King of Wands, you're feeling confident this month. Uh, I don't. Oh, and the Queen of Wands, uh, your relationship is very, very balanced, and this could just be your relationship with your masculine and feminine side is very, very um, in check. You're very, very you've got a very healthy masculine and feminine energy within you. Hmm. Also, I just feel like the funny thing is when I was reading the King of Wands, I started reading it like the Queen of Wands. And then the Queen of Wands came out. So I just feel as if your confidence, your self-assurance in the way you're moving in the world, in the way you're interacting with people in February is very, like, charismatic and very nice. They're very flirty, but also not, not flirty, that's not the right word, but just very attractive. Very attractive energy, um, very magnetic, and I, I just, very, I like this energy. I feel like Nine of Pentacles, people are liking you in February, uh, you're very much, <laughs> it's almost this energy of you being quite cool, and I hate that word, but I can't think of a better one, it's something where you're very cool, but the reason you're cool is because you don't really want to be in the rooms you're in, is suddenly the energy of, like, you would rather be at home with the hermit, you'd rather be doing, you'd be, rather be working, you'd rather, there's something with the nine of pentacles, you could be studying or working, but it's like, you can do it for yourself. You don't need other people. But you're going to find yourself... I don't know why. You could have, like, a party coming or a a get-together or some type. Because I just feel like you're going to be in a room full of people and everybody's going to be looking at you. you be like, Leo's... Like, I don't know. You're just going to be, like, the life of the party. But you're also going to be like, I don't really want to be in here right now. I want to be at home reading my books. Studying or... I don't know. It's very... Com <laughs> Queen of Pentacles. Home body energy wanting to be at home, liking your things, liking your books, liking your little bubble. Funny. Ten of Pentacles. Your home life is very healthy to the point where when you leave your house, you might feel very much, like, uncomfortable. A very strong energy around that, of you being around other people and going, oh. I'd rather be at home with my animals or with my kids. I don't know. There's something. <laughs> Ten of Cups. Family life. This is so funny. This is very synchronistic. Your, your family and your home life is looking amazing in February to the point where everything else, when you go out, when you interact with other people and you say, how are you? How are you going? You're going to immediately feel the shift in energy where you know that you're very lucky to be in the position you're in because other people aren't in the same energy and as empathetic as you are, it's almost like this is your time now to enjoy how good your life is and you don't want to like, into I don't know, it's like, it's almost like this energy of you being protective of the high that you're going to be on where you don't want to feel into anything others have going on. You don't, you're very empathetic usually, but in February you're like, no, I'm just going to have a month where I'm not empathetic. It's, it's kind of like you're taking a break. You're like, I just want to be happy. I don't want to care so much about others. And it's kind of working for you in some way. Uh, King, Night of Wands. The moon. You're focusing on a, like a passion project. Also, somebody's very like, there's somebody that's attracted to you. Um, or you're attracted to, this could go either way. It's it's masculine. It's a masculine energy that's either attracted to you, or if you're the masculine, it's you that's attracted to someone else, but it's very passion-driven, and on the outside, it's passion-driven. It's very flirty, it's very one-night standy, it's very that kind of thing. But with the moon here, somebody actually, if that's, if that's someone you know, it's almost like someone with the moon is hiding something. Hiding feelings, hiding true intentions. Things aren't completely clear between you both. If you're not in a relationship, there's someone that's like... 
the intentions aren't it's not that the intentions aren't pure but i feel like you could read them that way you could be like this person just does not have pure intentions but if you were to communicate with them you would know the truth six of cups two of pentacles seven of swords not knowing someone's intentions your reading leo is very synchronistic uh two of pentacles you're on the fence you're like hmm are things this way or are they that way it's very black and white you're like there's no gray area i'm feeling it's very much things are either going i don't know it feels if you're dating someone new this is what this is about it's like you're like this person's either a very good person or a very bad person they're pretending to be very good but they're bad or they're pretending to be very bad there's a thing where you're like unsure about their intentions i don't know um and if you're in a relationship there's just something that you're juggling that is black and white and you're not sure how it's gonna go you could be um now this could be a passion project that you have going on and you're like this is either gonna go very well for me or very badly um it's gonna either turn out in my favor or it's not and it's going to be a waste of time. But the thing is, there's no such thing as wasted time. And if this is a passion project and it's something that you're passionate about, follow it through. Like, you're passionate about it for a reason. That that fire wasn't put there just to dwindle. It's there to create something. With the Six of Cups, someone's returning into your life. But this came out reversed. So this person, I feel, hasn't actually left your life but you've convinced yourself they're gone and that's a weird thing to say that's very confusing so this could be someone around you that it just is emotionally withdrawn or it could be someone that there's a connection to them but it's just gone or you feel it's done and they're gonna come back around in some way um for some of you it's actually your children but which is strange almost like you're like mm. They're emotionally drawn, they're, mm, I've done what I can, they, they've done what they can, it's done. But it's actually going to somehow, like, you're going to realise they were never gone. It's a, it's a very strange energy and I don't even know what it is. Um, but hopefully it makes sense for you. What else is going on? The Hanged Man, the Five of Pentacles. Looking at things from a different perspective, realizing you're not alone. So five pentacles is feeling outside in the cold. Keyword there, feeling. You're not actually outside in the cold. There's actually a key and you can get inside this church in this picture. You just feel like you're outside in the cold. You're feeling like things are the same. But you're going to look at things very differently. And if you look at these things from a different perspective, you're going to realize you're not alone in some sense. You're not alone at all. you could even be in a relationship but feeling alone and it's all going to turn around you're going to realize they're actually there the whole time but i don't know there's something where you've convinced yourself it's, it's, it's there's something about your mind playing tricks on you oh the wheel things are turning around but the wheel and the star healing wish fulfillment but change sagittarius energy and with a star aquarius energy also here things are moving into a much brighter timeline and timeline is weird i didn't mean to say that but you're moving onto a much higher path where you feel a lot more in tune with where you're at so in the past maybe you felt like you weren't in the right places at the right times i'm just getting i'm seeing someone dropping lots of things like um you could have lots of instances in the past where you, you were quite clumsy quite recently where you're just dropping things bumping into things pulling push doors, pushing pull doors or whatever, and you're just clumsy. There's something where you're going to have a lot more, um, you're going to be flowing through life a lot easier doing the simple things instead of being clumsy. Like, and there, there's such a simple thing and such unnecessary maybe to bring up. But the reason I'm bringing it up is it's usually a sign that you are at peace and calm. If everything's calm around you, if you're not fumbling with everything, if you're not pushing pull doors because you're, you're just in tune with the flow what else is going on for Leo two of cups seven of wands so that tried to come out before and it, it, this feels significant because you're going from this something's changing in your relationship and the thing that's changing is you're feeling alone and if you're single you're feeling alone but the thing is 
this is significant because you're not usually someone that feels alone. You're not bothered. You're, you're single, you're free, you're happy, you're great. You're something where you've had an epiphany or you just feel like you've lost something. You feel like you're alone. Why do I keep saying it? And you're going to realize, oh, actually, like, how can someone return into my life when they never left? Nothing's changed. Like, nothing. And, like, I don't know what that energy is, but there's going to be someone that sticks up for you in some way, sticks up for the connection with you, where you go, oh, yeah. Huh. Hmm. Just, it seems like an energy of, in the past, you were waiting. And then you realize, oh, yeah. I don't know what this is. It's such a strange energy, Leo. I'm also getting to think about Alice in Wonderland for some reason. Uh, random. The Emperor and the Eight of Wands. There is an important like discussion that you're going to be taking control of. I don't know why. I feel like you're going to be like, sit down, I need to talk to you. And it's like... The second you talk something out, you're going to realise, oh yeah, we're both on the same page. This person actually isn't going to return to me because they never left. They were always, they weren't emotionally distant. I just had convinced myself. And there's something like going to be revealed where you look at everything from a new perspective, a different perspective. And because you're changing the way you're looking at things, things are changing. And it's all very positive and it feels like... A month of realizations of everything looking different but looking better from the way you're looking at things some of you are getting glasses because i keep going looking different and i just i'm getting something about you're seeing things from a new perspective you're seeing things from like clearer lens and so i'm taking that literally for some reason um i'm gonna wrap your reading up here thank you so much for watching if anything i said resonated or you feel it will because obviously it's not happened yet Please let me know by liking and subscribing, and I'll see you next Tuesday for Tiny Tools Tarot Tuesdays.